In today's video, I want to have a look at a pretty interesting location in Night City, that being this gigantic industrial petrochem facility that is funnily enough situated right next to uh, the prison as we know the prison in itself is uh, pretty underused in fact it isn't used for anything in this game and it makes me laugh that it's right next to uh, this petrochem facility which is also never used for anything in the game so today we're going to be flying around and having a look at it before i get into this video guys i just want to let you know that if you're watching this then it means i'm currently away uh, i'm gone for four months i'm traveling southeast asia so I've kind of scheduled all these videos to go up, but because obviously it's four months, it's only really going to be one a week. So just to let you know that that's why things aren't being uploaded as much. But once I'm back, things will return to normal. Wish me luck. Hope I don't get um, trafficked. So anyway, this is the entrance to uh, the Petrochem facility. Interestingly, it has been blocked off by uh, an NCPD squadron. Anyways, flying behind this gate, you can eventually pop into the Petrochem facility. And this place is absolutely fucking barred up. Like, all the way along this perimeter, we have uh, very high fences, we have barbed wire. The main entrance is, of course, locked off. But if we were to follow the kind of outer layer of this place, you can see just how gigantic it is and just how closed off it is. The main attraction of the Petrochem facility is obviously these gigantic buildings and because they're not overly interesting, I will just show you that there isn't anything inside of them. There's no remnants of interiors. There's nothing really to suggest that an interior was uh, gutted from the game or if it was probably quite early in development however what i would say is the most interesting about petrochem is the amount of detailing in this car park i understand that when it comes down to cyberpunk cut content a great portion of it can be um, attributed to just world building making things look believable especially if say you're riding the end car and you can you know look down and, and see a living breathing world but what i'm trying to say is that very very similar to the prison there's just like all of these props npcs uh working cars which are just littered throughout this car park the one that really stumps me as well is this little food vendor like why in god's name is someone peddling food in a petrochem facility you know this is like a goddamn mega corp if we follow it along we get these weird little buildings here not really sure what they're about if cdpr never intended for this location to be usable then why is it not just you know abandoned why is there any props any npcs here it kind of seems to me like there was an idea of something that didn't really get fully implemented and even like down to this building here which you can tell was probably placed after um, the structure was put in so like if we were to clip into it you can see a repeat of these planters which exist inside of here so it's almost like this was placed as a kind of afterthought but following it through a little bit we actually get to the middle of this facility again npcs that are spawning and these are all like construction guys as well there is a great amount of um, npcs that are spawning here props cars you name it and this is the other half of uh, petrochem's facility as well if we were to look at it from above you can just gauge how gigantic this location truly is like in comparison to the prison which is just here it's literally like a drop in the goddamn ocean this front bit all the way down here has the props as the car park it looks kind of modeled and uh, this latter half is a lot more bare bones and obviously a lot more industrial. There isn't too much going on here in terms of like unique detailing. We have some pretty low quality buildings that could be some sort of placeholder maybe. And inside these gigantic silos, there isn't actually anything on the go. But as I've said a million times already, there is just a great amount of excess space that really just baffles me as to why it would be left in this way. I think most likely it can be attributed to NCOT, so to the to the train system. However, bearing in mind that this was only added with 2.1. However, because it's right next to the prison, it, it does kind of beg the question, like why, why are these two gigantic locations just popped next to each other when there's no real gameplay going on with them? And I suppose as well, similar to the prison, uh, it seems like this place, if anything, would have been used for a side mission or for a gig. I think as well, if you consider that corporations are very, very undercooked in 2077 then maybe these petrochem buildings were tied to 
uh, maybe some kind of branch in Corpo questline, maybe to some cut story that would have uh, revolved around V getting in here, you know, uh, stealing something, planting something, I don't know. If you watch Edge Runners as well, and like I know it's, it's an anime and it's been made completely separate, but there's a good amount of these corporate gigs that David undergoes, you know, breaking into like Arasaka offices. So there's always a chance that this is probably what's going on. But evidently, if anything was planned for this location, it was absolutely taken out pretty early in development as uh, this place is now very law friendly you know it's shut off it's contained so if there if there was any kind of interior or gig attached to this place you can't really tell anymore and to be honest with you that's all i really wanted to show off i'm a little skeptical to call this cut content but i just want to show off that night city does have these gigantic places which um don't really provide any kind of gameplay but i feel like could have been foundations for something gigs i would say most likely that's all for today's video guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed please do consider subscribing thank you so much as always and i will catch you lot in a bit